Hello, what's up? Ali here. And on this video, we are going to show you how to update and jailbreak our PS4 on firmware 9.0 and below. This video is also a reminder that even though we are getting a lot of great updates for the 11.0, it is still far inferior to 9.0 and below, especially with regards to stability. So if you are on a lower firmware, I would recommend using 9.0. And if you are not yet familiar with these kinds of stuff, you don't have to worry. You'll just have to follow the process exactly as it is and I can guarantee you that it is completely safe and in no time, you will be able uh, to jailbreak your PS4 and enjoy the stability and feature of a jailbroken PS4 on 9.0. And another thing, since we are going to change our hard drive on this video, you can also follow this video if you want to change or replace your hard drive. So let us proceed with the video and let me show you the easiest and safest way of getting broken our PS4. For this video, we are going to need two USB flash drives. One is for the activation of the jailbreak and the other one for the update. We will also need our PS4 to be connected online. You can either do it via LAN or via Wi-Fi. Let us first go ahead and update our PS4. In our description, I will leave a link where we can find all of the important updates for our PS4. And in my case, since I have changed my hard drive, what I need is the reinstallation file, which is this one, 9.0 and the one that has a size of 1000 MB or 1 gig. Now, if you are on a working firmware or you just need to update your PS4, what you need is the regular update file, which is this one, the one that has a size of 467 MB. Now all you have to do is just click on this port and it will download automatically. Now let us go ahead and prepare our USB thumb drive for the update. For the update, let us go ahead and prepare our hard drive. First, we'll have to make sure that it is formatted to either FAT32 or XFAT. So just right click on the drive and you should see on the file system FAT32 or XFAT. Otherwise, you will have to format your hard drive first by right clicking on the drive and click on format and choose the right file system then click on start now on the root of the hard drive create a new folder and name it ps4 or capitalize now inside this folder create another folder name it update again all capitalize now inside this folder we are going to save or transfer the update file that we are going to use for our PS4. Now we'll just have to make sure that we place here the exact firmware update that we are going to need. Because if ever we downloaded the wrong file, we won't be able to go down or to downgrade our PS4. Next, we'll have to change the file name to ps4update.pop. For our dongle, we are going to need two files. Let us start with the Win32 Disk Imager. So just open the link and click on this part to download the file. Next, we are going to need our PS4 Pico Image. And click on this part and download. Next is we'll have to install the Win32 Disk Imager. Then for our image file, just right click and extract here. Then on our Win32 Disk Imager, now on this part, click on the drive that you wish to use for your dongle. And in my case, it is Drive E. Then click on this part and choose this image file. Then just click on this part. Now once we have our update and our dongle ready, let us go back to our PS4. And since I have changed the hard drive of my PS4, this is what I'm going to see. You will also see this message if your PS4 can no longer detect your hard drive. That means that your hard drive is already broken. It is time to change or upgrade your hard drive. Now just connect the USB cable to your PS4 and to your DS4 and click on the PS button. Then click on OK. Now if you see some error message here, like an update data could not be found, that means that we have uh, some issues either with the format of the hard drive or the name of the folders or the file name of uh, the update file. You should carefully check all of the details that we have showed so far. 
Now, if you see the error message that the file is corrupted, that simply means that you have downloaded the wrong update file. On this part, you should use the reinstallation file, not the standard update file. Now, just click on yes to start the update. Now after the update, the first thing you'll need to do is turn off the auto-update features in your PS4. Just go to the settings, then system, automatic downloads, then uncheck everything. Now we'll have to connect our PS4 to the internet. Just go to the settings, the network. Set up internet connection, choose custom, and here on the DNS settings, click on manual. Then just choose the default setting. Now once we have set up the internet, we can now go ahead and choose the preferred host that we want for our jailbreak. To do that, go to the web browser. In my case, this is still my favorite host and you will find the link on our description. If you are getting an error like what we are getting now, it means that the DNS is down. In that case, just go back to the network settings and just choose easy. Now let us go back to the web browser. This should load the host that we want. You can just go ahead and choose this part. Then choose this tab. Then this tab for the latest gold hand as well as the best stability. Here we are going to need the USB dongle that we have just prepared. And once you see this message, just plug in the USB dongle and wait for this error message, then press OK on your controller. Now once you see the message golden ready, just press the PS button. And congratulations, your PS4 is now jailbroken. From here, you can now go ahead and install games or application for your PS4. We have a separate video on how to install games and other applications as well as other important videos so do check them on our description. Now this will be it if you have any questions or suggestions or you had some issues with some of the process that we have showed do share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. Again this is Ali if you found this video helpful please do like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye bye.